I'm going to let um, everyone in on part of the discussion we was having earlier. Um, and, and it's, um, you know, many people make no apologies whatsoever at all um, of letting them know um, whenever they hear teachings that I'm their teacher. Um, I'll give an example. Um, Brother Mitch, Brother Al, Elder Austin, um, and uh, Elder Rufus. And we're going to use them for an example, all right? Um, all of these are honorable men. I mean, um, you'd be remiss. Uh, and Brother Randy, all right? And don't y'all listen to me. I can't, you know, go over everybody right now, but just listen to me. In this, in this ministry right here, um, over the years, people have come and people have gone. Um, I've literally have um, taught people, sit down and spoke with them, um, about community and how to do community. Um, Zach and New Tutorial is one. Um, Pastor Fox um, is another. Um, I go on and on and on. And I'm just using the ones recently because if I start calling names of others, you wouldn't know. Um, and then I have a lot of people who come here and learn the power of Yah how to cast out devils, cast out, you know, devils, demons, how to be delivered. They learn what the real true meaning of repentance is. Um, and then I show them, I actually show them and demonstrate and teach them that they have the power to heal and they can teach others. And I had a, a young man and his name is not important. He says, pastor, this is what I noticed. I noticed over the years of watching all, all the people come and go. I noticed that each one of these men, they take something from the ministry and they continue to keep gleaning from the ministry, but very few of them actually really truly tell the world where they have learned things from. For instance, they don't have the honor. This, this is what he, the young man said. They don't have the honor like the apostle Paul when he would make an address to Theopolis, um, or how the disciples often talked about Jesus, or modern day times. You, know, you, you notice that um, whether you like him or not, uh, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is a very powerful speaker and a very powerful man. But you know that man always gives honor to his teacher, always give honorable honor to his teaching. That's the um, honorable Elijah Muhammad. And when you look in this world, we pay homage, uh, be it president, um, CEOs or whatever it is, or in the military, anybody that rank us, you know, there's a structure there. But I, I, I told the young man, and this is what I'm going to let y'all in on because it's, it's not important all of what we went over and, and discussed. I said, son, I said, we're living in a time where today everybody wants to make the people think that they are preaching and teaching to that everything originated with them. That's what they want. They want, and it's actually deception. They want to, to let the people lead the people to believe that they are the sum of all wisdom um, and that they come to this on their own and nobody has taught them nothing and they got it straight from the Holy Spirit. Um, and of course, all that is an infallible lie. And there are some things that the Holy Spirit will open up in order to enhance your knowledge um, and stuff. But, um, you know, wisdom is applied knowledge. And, and there's a lot of things that people have learned um, from Pastor Dow. Um, but you have to understand, the, the mindset of these people is, is that if they are ministering, if they are preaching and teaching someone to someone, they don't want those people's eyes and they don't want those people's minds to be shifted from them since they are the ones giving them the information and over to another man who they may pay more homage and give more accolades to because in their eyesight, they may be diminished. And a lot of these people are just simply too prideful to give other people credit for their growth. Now, Sure, all praise to the Father. Um, and, you know, the Apostle Paul, he said some stuff today that, that it wouldn't even fly today, wouldn't he? Um, he? He would often talk about 
uh, my beloved sons who I begotten in the Messiah. You know, uh, Brother Mitch is, is like that. Brother Mitch has no trouble, no problem telling him, hey, Pastor Dow is our pastor. Now, I'm not, now, don't get me wrong, I'm not getting on here trying to point people towards me and all this other stuff because anybody who knows me, anybody who is in my inner circle and stuff, uh, they know that's not the way I am. I'm just stating facts of the way people are today. People want to draw people to themselves. And you would actually read that in the scripture or you read in a renewed covenant, the New Testament, and you'll find out that those who uh, draw people to themselves, they are seeking their own and not the welfare of others. Um, and it's obvious. All you have to do is just pay attention. Uh, many people would deceive with words, but make no mistake about it. Um, today, we don't have the kind of men, young men, um, that, that are honorable enough to actually let the people who they know, who they're teaching, this is my teacher. This is who taught me. And he is a saint of the most high. Uh, I mean, because if you listen to me, you'll hear me over and over again. Uh, and most of you, you probably only listen to a few videos and you don't know me, but over the years, ask anybody in the ministry how many books that I have recommended to the saints of the most high y'all and to the people out there who want them, how many books I have recommended for them to go out and obtain and buy because this would help in the faith. Now, in order for me to do that, I have to call the people's name. I have to say this book is the, and here's the author. And this is where I learned this from. And then the father, what he does, is he adds more to me than what is written in the book. You know, it's just it's just the right thing to give honor to whom honor is due. But we don't have a generation like that. For some reason, they are afraid. Either they're afraid or they're ashamed or they're too prideful. There's a lot or there's envy, secret envy going on. There's a lot going on in the background. I don't know the men, the you know, the condition of men's heart. All I know is what I can see and function. But um, we're not here to draw men to ourselves. Um and there's nothing wrong. Um, you know, Paul says, follow me as I follow Christ. And I say the same thing to people because if you can find another pastor um, that is serving Christ um, greater than I am, then go follow him. But if not, then follow me as I follow Christ. Because the one thing I know about me, I'm a man, a man of truth, a man of honor, a man of integrity. Um, have I fallen short? Yes, I have. Probably will again sometime. I don't know, but the one thing about it, I always get up. I don't moan, ball, squall, and bellyache. Am I here as well as an extreme doer of the word? You better believe it. I am a doer of the word. No doubt about it. That's why I keep saying men don't follow titles. They follow strength. And um, But I have no trouble. It, it, even um, you, you can... Um, Listen, watch the, some of our feast day sermons or services and, and watch when some preachers come here and stuff. Um, I, I'm a preacher. I open the pulpit up for pastors. I let them speak. I sure do. I let um, elders speak. I let brothers speak. I sure do. But these are people who I know something about. Now, I don't mind. I've had people come here and, and um, be under some type of illusion. I've had them speak in the pulpit and I've literally kicked them out of it because of the falsehoods that they were um, saying. But hey, that's the choice and decision they make. That's just the way it is. But I'm not like a lot of these other men. I'm learning as I go. And I'm trying to do everything I can to be an example to teach others. But I don't know um, what it is, the reason why people would not want to say that, you know, Pastor Dow is my teacher. You know, pa I heard Pastor Tatum say that to me. He says that, um, um, and he told people, you know, uh, the Honorable Pastor Dow teaches us. Uh, that's what I heard him say to me. I have not heard anybody ever come back uh, from one of the preachers, teachers, pastors, or anything, something like that, and said that this preacher told this or said this to uh, about you to me. I've never heard anything like that as long as I've been preaching and teaching. And that's something, isn't it? But it's amazing how, and I'm not saying that it's not going on today. I, it's just that people today are just full of themselves. I don't know what it is. But it's amazing how the Muslims um, 
have more honor and more character and more heart and more integrity, and they know how to honor. You know, the Bible even teaches us to honor the hoary-headed people. That means the gray-headed people. You're supposed to, there's a certain honor um, that is bestowed upon them. Then it also teaches us to honor your father and mother. Um, and as I can go on and on and on and on and on and on and on about what the book says, but I simply don't know what's in the hearts of men um, to why they will want to come and amass all this wisdom and knowledge here and then refuse to go out and tell others who they've learned it from. Um, I haven't really thought on it much except what I've just given to you and what I said to the young men, but maybe you out there in the listening audience can tell me, tell me, because some of you have more experience um, dealing with people in church and church any than I do. So you tell me, what is it about people that they don't want and, or they are afraid to tell people about their teachers? I ain't, I mean, I can... Man, I tell you, I, I, if you've listened to me any length of time, you won't believe how many times I've mentioned my teachers. You know, of course, now I've done well surpassed uh, my teachers by a thousand times, a thousand fold over. And that didn't come from my mouth. That came from those who can see and know the difference. Um, and remember, don't let your own lips praise you, but let another man's lips praise you. That's what the word says. All right. But I just thought I asked. Maybe you out there can tell me, why is it that people want to come and learn from Pastor Dow and, and mass all the knowledge and wisdom they can from me, but then they don't want to go out and tell the other people out there in their different geographical locations where they have learned this from? Um, and no, I'm not saying that, that I'm asking this. I'm just presenting something that, in a conversation uh, that I had with someone because um, I'm the type of person, my plate is already full. Um but mentioning someone, you know what I mean? That doesn't mean they're going to come and knock down a door. What they're doing is it, it's giving honor to whom honor is due. I don't know. You tell me why. You tell me why. Um, I know one thing, uh, Pastor Fox out there in the So Far Mountain, man, he makes no apologies for it at all. He'll tell you flat out. Um, uh, Pastor Dow said this. Pastor Dow taught me this. Pastor Dow said that. And I'm not looking for it. I really truly ain't. I'm not looking for it, but he's just an honorable man. And yes, I'm a pastor and a lot of people learn stuff from me, but when I learn something from somebody, you watch and see if Pastor Dow ever bites his tongue. I don't never bite my tongue to tell you what I've learned from someone. I'll close this up with this. Pride go before destruction and a holy spirit before a fall. Now, maybe you out there can tell me why people have this kind of behavior. Why is it that they are afraid to honor those who taught them and then tell others where they learned it from so that they may even have an opportunity to learn more? Uh, you tell me. I don't know. 